Hey everyone, this is Wayward9911. Welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we saved these four monkeys from various cages, and now we are going to head on over to this broken bridge and face off against the baboon with the boomerang. Now, luckily, the four monkeys will provide us a way across the rope. So, let's get going. There we go. And now we can head on inside. Let's take out this asshole. Uh, what? Ah, the door closed behind me. Oh, and there he is, with his silly red butt. You know what? That boomerang looks cool. I'm gonna steal it. No, oh, don't s stop slapping your ass at me. Come on. Alright, whoop. And there we go. Now, total revenge! It's so bad it had to be censored! Huzzah! Come on. Ah. Fail. Come on. And there we go. Now, more ass beating. Yeah. Don't let the kids watch. Ow. That wasn't supposed to happen. Now, I must say, this theme's actually pretty good. But anyway, let's... Let's slash this guy in the buttocks. Get down from there. And there we go. Mini boss complete. Oh, he was being possessed by a bug, I presume? And the bug vanishes. Okay, now he just looks like a regular baboon. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right. Now where's my prize? There it is. Holy crap! I am the fairy of the winds who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from the evil, and now I have my true power back. Please, take it with you. Use it to aid your quest, and may both of my power and my blessing go with you. If you focus power on your boomerang before releasing it, it will unleash the power of the winds, aiding you in unforeseen ways. So there we go. You got the Gale Boomerang! This mysterious boomerang houses the fairy of the winds. Blah da blah da blah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can just tell you how to use it. I bet even the monkeys should be satisfied now. Okay, let's continue combing this place. We already found something good, so let's keep searching for the places we haven't looked yet. Alright. Now, first off, we need to find out how to get out. Well, I'd like to pull out my trusty boomerang. And I'll put the milk in here. So the boomerang works like this. You can lock on, using the Z button, you lock on to various things. And then you can lock up to five things at once. And then you throw the boomerang. 
The boomerang generates a tornado in its track, so that's good. It's useful for picking up items. But all in all, it's just a regular boomerang with a few added bonuses. Anyway, we just need to propel that fin three times and the cage that was sealing the door should unlock. If it doesn't, I don't know what happened with your game. But anyway, if we want to go back here, we can't exactly because this rope the monkeys have abandoned. That's not correct grammar. Uh, but we can fix this by... Uh, no. By doing that... And that... So, oh my god, there's more monkeys! Okay, well I suppose I have to take this- I have to free this guy, but... Oh, there we go. All we need to do is lock on, and there we go. Freed another monkey. And where the heck are you going? Well, I guess there's still some monkeys you haven't freed yet. At this point, you should just save them all and see what you can get for it. All right. And now we can head on over this way, the way that was seemingly useless. Oh, get back here. Yes, the boomerang does work on enemies. They haven't taken that out of the game. Whoa, crap! Okay. Shit, shit, shit. Ah, uh, okay. Now let's get on out of here. Okay, and we're back in here. But before we leave for good, I'd like to check out a certain area. Let's see, is it here? Yeah, it's here. I think you know why. As I've stated before, there are worm tile tile worms. That's what they're actually called. You can use the boomerang on these guys. That'll bring them up and yeah, kill them. Well, it'll kill them if they land in the water. Okay, just taking care of all these tile worms. Anyway, we can use the boomerang to take out this light. And looky looky, it's a treasure chest. What's inside, you may ask? None other than a piece of heart. So that's convenient. Anyway, now that we've concluded our business here, let's head on back to the Crossroad Hub. Not this one. Uh, let's see. Fastest way down. Yep, here we go. I don't have time for you, Deku Serpent. Anyway, we can go over here, and before we head on over to this room, this here room where we got the small, the first small key, I think, let's, let's use our boom, no, let's use our boomerang, right 
here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. So yes, if you take the, take out these torch all one, even one of these torches, the steps do go down. So just for reassurance, I'm just gonna relight this. I really have no purpose for it being down. And let's open this and see what's inside. Ooh, it's something good. It's the compass. Yes, compasses make a return, as always. Well, if it isn't something useful. As long as you have that, you should be able to find where captured monkeys are, right? Yes. So, alongside its function in any old Zelda game to find treasure chests, like, say, right there, it also finds monkeys! And it also tells you where the boss is. In this case, the boss is on the first floor. Since this is the only floor. But anyway. Now that we know we have a treasure chest left in this here room, let's head on over. Oh, what? No. Boomerang. <laughs> Yes, you can capture those Deku Babas by 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 using the Gale Boomerang. Anyway, with that all said and done, this seems like an easier way to get to the treasure chest. No, ah, what the hell was that? Jeez. Alright, let's, let's go on over here, as slow as it is, and yes, easy access to this area. Now, with the Gale Boomerang in hand, we can, we can follow this reverse Z pattern with the fans, and blowing them in that correct order. Opens up the gate. Alright, and let's open this thing. And we shall get... The big key. We use it to unlock the door leading to the boss of every dungeon. Aight. Now that we've gotten all that taken care of, let's... Head on over to here. And oh, look, there's the monkey leading us away. Where do you want me to go now? Alright, well, judging from this, it doesn't look safe to fall. So instead, I'm gonna use the Gale Boomerang. What? Ah. Not exactly what I meant to do. And that opens that up. Alright, we're just gonna follow this monkey. Alright, what's in here? Oh, pff, look. All them monkeys. You're off sync, dude. <laughs> I guess in order for us to check the temple out completely, we need the help of the monkeys. Ah, uh, well, let's help the rest of them. Alright. Now, to help the rest of them, our first stop is... Back the way we came. Ah, uh, we want to... Use our Gale Boomerang on this bridge. And then use it again to return it. Now the Bacoblins, as you know, are easy picking, so... Oh. Looky here. A door. 
that needs a small key. Yeah, I don't have a small key. So instead, let's head on in here. Whoa, you're a Skultula. I'm not going down there. Die. All right, are you down here? Yes, you are. So I propose that we use the Gale Boomerang to... No. All right, then. Uh, let's try this. No, how are we supposed to get to this? Um... You know, I'm brain farting right now. Oh, there we go. And there we go. We freed a monkey. Alright, now that that's all done and taken care of, holy crap! Good thing we didn't land on that Deku-like. Because I don't think we have anything to take it out with. <laughs> oh wait, yes we do. Come on, eat it. Yeah! That's what you get. Alright, anyway. Let's head back on up. Now... Next, since we didn't have a... We don't have a small key, and we also have a treasure... Nope, oh, no. No. We also have a treasure chest inside this room. So I'm guessing that... No. T t put that away, Link. I am guessing that we're gonna have to go to the room on... To the room right of the... Of the monkey room. Monkey collection room verse. I guess it's a monkey collection room. You know, I don't know. I am just using my lackluster imagination. Anyway, there's this pathway across here. So we can use this to, no, put it away. Uh, ah. And we can make our way up here, thanks to the Gale Boomerang. Ow! That stupid Bacoblin took advantage of the fact that I was a floor below. Oh, come on, stay up there, Link. Anyway... Let us proceed with our slow climbing. He climbs like an old man. Well, I can imagine he must have the back of a of a, of a geezer. Seriously, you know how much we make him roll every game that he has the roll. Yeah. But other than that, there's not much to say on the issue. Other than McCoblin! We have cleared the area. 
Anywho, let's get on with this. Okay, this looks interesting. He's over there, and... The, the key, I presume that's a key, but it's over there. But there's a Deku, like, guarding it, so... Boomerang time! So, Boomerang, if you would kindly bring that bo- Whoa! Yeah. Eat it. Literally. Yes, yeah, so apparently you can't just use the boomerang itself to bring you toward the... to... Well, what am I saying? I cannot think today! And there we go, the small key. You can't use the boomerang to bring the bomb to... straight to the... straight to the Deku Light. You have to... Get it yourself and then bring it over. This obstacle at what? This obstacle, however, we can do that. Bam! Right in the kisser. But anyway, let's head on up here. Whoa! Ow! Anyway... Oh, we need a bomb shoe, huh? Alright, well... Let's bring this thingamabobber up here. Brace yourself, monkey! There is a bomb at your doorstep! And there we go. Easy said, easy done. Now our last monkey, as you know, is behind the door that is caged by, uh, by the key by the keyhole, so... Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ow. That wasn't good. Uh, let's see if these pots have any health. Just another blue rupee, and there we go, heart. Anyway, we want both of these to be switched, and then we can head on up here, do the same thing. And we're back. So last but not least... We can use the this bridge again to bring ourselves on over here. My commentary, as I have noticed, is awfully repetitive. But hey, that's why you love me, right? R right? Please tell me that's right. Well, anyway. Yeah! Tile Worm Massacre! Alright, and new pots. What's our- what's in these? Few rupees, nice. And... There's an opening over here. I'm gonna wanna take that, and... That's a Skulltula. Come on. Die. Finishing blow! Alright. 
right, now we can use our trusty Gale Boomerang to bring these guys down. And I hear the monkey. So let's get ourselves up. And... Oh, here we go. All we really need to do is... Use our boomerang on these two propellers and... Free the monkey. And I believe this is the last one. No! How dare you! Alright, we have one last errand. We need to access this treasure chest, which contains a red rupee. All good. Nothing nefarious. So, I'll take it. Alright, now we can... Use this, and... Open this door. Now we get to watch the monkeys. Assume formation! They're literally turning themselves into a giant rope. Such trapeze artists. Alright, this is how we're getting to the boss door. Yes, quite entertaining, entertaining, wouldn't you say? Alright, and you know, is there really any reason for that vine, for those vines? Or these? What's the point? There is none! Alright, well anyway, before I go in, I'm gonna drink up some milk. Yes, I realize that you serve, the nurse milk serve no purpose. But you'll see why I drank it up in the next part. So, this has been Wayward Wind 911 If you like this episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, rate, comment, subscribe. See you later, thanks for watching, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.